How's it going, y'all? It's Saturday, November 26th. Black Friday was yesterday and Thanksgiving the day before that. I hope y'all had a fantastic Thanksgiving and got some uh, super great deals yesterday. I'm headed to the river right now. It's 63 degrees, sunny bluebird skies. I don't know how many more days we're gonna have like this that are uh, sunny and 60 plus in 2022. So I'm headed to the river right now. I'm gonna meet my friend Bruce from our local Trout Unlimited chapter and fly fishing community here in Georgia. Join me today, let's see how it goes. All right, we're getting our first look at the water today. Looks a little bit stained still. Looks like there might still be a little bit of the uh, turnover going on where the water from Lake Lanier kind of uh, oxidizes when it gets churned about this time of year and kind of turns the water a little bit of a stained color. So um, it the water height wise is really low as well. I see some rocks exposed that are definitely a little bit more exposed than usual so that might uh, push the fish into uh, some little congregated pockets today we're just gonna have to uh, fish the water as it is presented to us and let's see how it goes there we go just fishing the first run I came across, and I'm hooked up to my first fish of the day. Oh, and he came off. All right, guys, I just missed my first fish of the trip. I just saw one come up and kind of rise over here, do something kind of funny. Let's see if I can't get a fish over here in this uh, run. I see some darker green water I'm gonna keep moving towards. Definitely looks like it's a bit deeper than where I just initially hooked that fish. So maybe there's a few more fish hiding over here. There we go. There we go. Hooked up to what might be my first fish to the net today. If I can seal the deal. Looks like he ate the bottom stonefly and we got him to the net. First fish of the day, nice rainbow trout and he was not gonna hang around any longer. We're gonna keep getting after it, see if we can't get number two. Oh, no way, I just made a little flick into uh, some darker colored pockets over here as I was moving on to another section of water. I'm glad I started my camera because we just got number two. Super nice holdover rainbow. So I just released fish number two. Both ate a stonefly pattern. I was just moving on from fishing some of the shallower runs behind me, and I decided to make one last cast back that way. I noticed there were some darker green pockets, made a quick cast, fish number two to the net. So we're gonna keep picking apart this water and see what else we can find. There we go. Nice rainbow. I just swung my flies towards the opposite bank and this fish hit it. And he's putting up a good fight in the current, kind of rolling on the surface right now. There we go, kind of got him on the swing and he was just sitting in the far side of this run. Fish number three and off he goes. So I just released fish number three, or well, he basically just flopped out of my hands. I was swinging the flies in this run right behind me. There are some trees overhanging the water. I just kind of sidearm uh, casted my flies underneath that gap. 
let them drift on down and ended up feeling that guy towards the tail end of my drift right as I was starting to swing the flies. Felt the thud and was lucky to come tight with fish number three. But other than that, it's been real slow. I caught those first two fish back to back and the weather has been real gloomy and the fishing has been slow. But I'm very glad to get fish number three at the very least. So I'm gonna keep fishing, see if I can't get number four on this slow day and maybe get into a few more nice fish. There we go. There we go, real nice fish. Real nice fish. Nice brown. I can just manage to get his head up, keep him out of the rocks. Hopefully I can seal the deal here. Oh man, he's really pulling. Really dogging me down. What a crazy fish. Wow, wow, wow. That is an, a great, great fish. My best brown in quite some time. That is fantastic. This may very well be one of my best brown trout ever on the Chattahoochee, if not my very best. Look at the head on that fish right there. I am absolutely thrilled to catch this fish. It's been a slow day so far. Just released rainbow number three. Fourth fish of the day is this I mean, absolutely stunning brown trout. This fish right here, it's one of my absolute nicest brown trout ever on the Chattahoochee. Gotta be towards 16, 17 inch mark and an absolute stunning fish for this section of the river. Just gonna hold him by the tail here, point him nose up. And he's kicking and off he goes, oh my goodness. It's just working my way downstream. Bruce kind of hit this area from the other side, caught a nice little rainbow I saw from downstream. I kind of moved by it working up and he was like, hey, you might want to go hit that run. I kind of kind of left out one side for you. Sure enough, end up dredging the stonefly right down the pipeline and just ended up netting and releasing one of my nicest browns ever on the Chattahoochee. So thank you, good Bruce. Deal. I really, really appreciate it. So that's some good fishing karma your way at, at, <laughs> at least, man. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Let's hit it. Man, that was awesome. I'm Adrenaline is still going, so uh, I think that's bought me a, a little bit more fishing time at least in this cold weather. So we're going to get back after it. There we go. Hooked up, hooked up, and I really want to get this guy to the net. Fishing has been slow, and oh man, he's jumping upstream. He's going kind of nuts. Oh goodness. And got him. Fish number five, and almost certainly my last fish of the evening. My little barbless hair's ear jig pattern already fell out. Fish number five. Another nice holdover rainbow. And he was not gonna hang around. So that was fish number five I just released. He was not gonna hang around very long at all. I just had a great time out here on the river. Sometimes these slower days really make you focus in on your drifts and can really make you a sharper angler. So I'm grateful for the slower days as well as the days where they just seem to be jumping on your line. So, you know, one thing I've noticed is as I've really just tried to focus on becoming the best nymph fisherman I can be, the nice brown trout have kind of fallen in line and just kind of manifested right along with it. So maybe I'm just lucky you're catching browns or maybe uh, my nymphing has improved a bit where the, uh, the brown trout are kind of coming more readily at this larger size. So regardless of what it is, I'll take it and hopefully we can keep this good luck going with a couple nice wild browns a year. I really appreciate y'all watching. Get out there this winter, catch some nice fish because as you just saw, I just caught a really nice brown and between Bruce and I, we probably got over 10 fish today. So hey, get out there. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a happy holidays. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and tight lines. See you next time.